All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a long day, uh, but I'm going to need you to buckle your seatbelts because I'm going to take you on a wild ride, a, uh, a journey like none other. Uh, we've all heard the idea of teaching, going from student to teacher, but my teaching has literally taken me all over the world. I've seen lots of different things, and I've shared that with my students. Uh, I'm going to show you eight stops along the way. Uh, after those eight stops, you can't go somewhere without bringing back souvenirs. I mean, come on. Uh, so these souvenirs I'm going to show you, a uh, variety of lesson plans, student work, uh, reflections on these uh, stops that I took. And so, thus begins the trip of a lifetime, uh, starting in Virginia Beach, Virginia, where I call home. I uh, spent my entire schooling years there. Uh, middle school and seventh grade really started to like history, uh, which is a coincidence because a student taught seventh grade history, same course, and I was like, awesome. I'm going to see if I can instill all that uh, sweet historical knowledge, create a few mini-me's along the way, and uh, see what I can do. Uh, so I had a connection with uh, kind of the student teaching that I was doing. In high school, I really started to take a uh, bigger interest in history, and school in general. I did a lot of extracurriculars, I played soccer, I was a uh, vice president of student government, and I got to see people working outside of the classroom, seeing how teachers worked uh, for their students, and it didn't just end when the bell rang. It was an uh, all-day process. Uh, in high school, I uh, worked to start a, a leadership workshop where we took about 200 students to a, a camp and did like leadership skits on skills for them to take back to school, and it really just uh, started to plant the seeds of my career. I had no idea. Uh, that uh, it was doing that, uh, seeing how much I liked school, uh, being in a school and the content plus, uh, seeing school is more than just education. Uh, so next up is Blacksburg because I'm going to skip the year that I was trapped in uh, Northern Virginia and uh, the less said about that the better. Uh, so I came to Blacksburg after I was uh, denied from Tech at first and started studying history and political science. Uh, and I mean I was good at history but I'm also good at playing Call of Duty, and I can't really uh, just become a professional video game player. Uh, my ideal career would be to teach a history of magic at Hogwarts, but until something like that can happen, it's not. Uh, and I was realizing I wanted to become a teacher. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, telling people about uh, different things I was learning, different peoples. Uh, and this also happened, kind of relates to my whole uh, idea of this. Uh, I traveled a lot during college. I was lucky enough. And all I wanted to do when I got home was tell everyone about the different cultures, the different histories, uh, how, how things worked around the world. I also developed as a person because I started taking courses uh, outside my comfort zone, the things I hadn't really learned in high school. African politics, African history, history of Asia. And I was like, wow, why didn't I learn about this stuff more? I just want to keep spreading the wealth, spreading the knowledge, telling uh, all my friends and roommates, they're just like, shut up, Kurt, so I don't really care. <laughs> and uh, I was like, i got to find somewhere that I can uh, kind of express all of this information. And I realized that I loved uh, going back to my leadership workshop as an alumni and working with students. Uh, my teachers, I would go there, and I would just have fun with them. And I just loved the aspect of school. Uh, if we could only push it back a few hours, I would literally be in my dream career. Uh, so, this is really where the journey uh, starts uh, going up. First stop is Japan. Uh, and this was my first lesson as a teacher, only a few weeks after I graduated uh, with my bachelors. Uh, Jess and Jason and Jenny were in this class. Uh, Jason affectionately calls her the dredge. And she was a, a great professor who said, if uh, I had no idea this was your first lesson plan. I wouldn't be able to tell. And I said, thanks for being nice and uh, giving me some confidence before my uh, project, but let me show you some work that I definitely needed to improve on. Uh, this lesson was on Japanese internment. Uh, I focused on reading and writing since it was the comprehension and content analysis class. And when I was writing this lesson plan, I was like, what the heck am I doing? Please get me to this methods class where I can learn to plan uh, luckily, she included a lesson template, so I wasn't just hung out to dry. And uh, let's take a look-see at this gem of a lesson plan. Uh, my instructional objectives. Instead of swabots, I just put the standard up there. I don't really know what's supposed to go up there, but I said, you know what, we're somehow, uh, we're going to get there. 
and we're going to do it. Uh, my opener, uh, what we'll call it, just do it now, uh, refresh their minds of World War II. How am I going to refresh their minds? I give no actual instruction on uh, how I'm actually going to do it. So no, uh, no real ideas or instructional sequences going on. For the main bulk of the lesson, I was thinking to myself, what did I do in high school? I took some notes. Uh, I watched the overhead projector uh, get cranked and cranked and cranked uh, as they took more notes. I uh, watched a few videos, uh, did some book work. So I was like, oh, genius, you're going to give them some notes to take. So uh, 15 minutes of guided note taking, and then show a propaganda video where the U.S. government is trying to uh, say, hey, internment is what we need. It's okay. These camps, they're great. Everyone loves being there. Uh, and I contrasted that with a slideshow of the uh, Manzanar camp uh, to show what it was really like. And so my assignment was critique the video. Uh, did they get it right? What was going on uh, compared to the slideshow that was shown? And then a closure was just collect uh, exit slips or assign homework. So my whole idea of connecting a lesson piece by piece really wasn't there yet. And so that was my first lesson. Have some differentiation and uh, 21st century, century skills, but nothing uh, like the lesson plans I would start to create. So, Japan, down with you. Uh, Blacksburg, coming back here over the summer. Uh, this is kind of a reflection on volunteer work I did uh, with Ginny and Megan uh, with an organization or a program called College Bound. Uh, it is my first time working with students with disabilities. I was kind of uh, I was a little nervous because in our class, educating exceptional learners, a lot of people had experience, and I really didn't. My school I went to, uh, it had a wing for the more severe cases of uh, students with disabilities, and they were kind of isolated. So no real socialization with me. Uh, I didn't see them much. And so I really uh, didn't know what to expect. So let's take a look at the reflection I had there on College Bound. Uh, and this, like I said, it's a transition program for college juniors, college, uh, sorry, high school juniors and seniors who uh, want to take the next step and go to college. Uh, but they have disabilities and they need accommodations, need to know what's out there. Uh, anything from autism to ADHD to OCD. Uh, and what we did, first thing, was be bold with them. I had a lot of fun, I think. You all had fun when we went. And it was just an enjoyable time. I talked to two juniors. Uh, one, they were actually both from Northern Virginia in the same district. Asked them how their school uh, accommodated them. Do you feel like your needs are being met? One said yes. The other in the same district said no. It's really interesting for me to see that different schools uh, dealt with students with disabilities uh, and were able to have different accommodations um, school by school. And uh, throughout that uh, weekend or two days that we did it, I went to a workshop on assistive technology, so lots of cool things. Uh, and really what it was all about, learning to be an advocate for yourself and learning what accommodations are out there for you. And uh, the last part of the day, I went to the computer labs at Torg. I helped them take their last test slash survey, range from me helping them read the questions or just make sure that everything's kind of going okay, that they don't get out of hand, leading them from one building to the other. And I was like, these kids, they're no different from me. Uh, and I was like, I really want to work uh, with these kids uh, whenever I can. And it's just my first experience I couldn't uh, be more happier with, uh, with that. So that was my stop in Blacksburg.